Hello guys and welcome to a new series that I am going to play on my channel and I can't believe how many requests I've gotten to play this either. I have been planning to play this for quite some time now, I just want to give people a chance to be able to play it for themselves after they, it came out. But it makes me really happy to know that you want to see it as much as I want to play it. So. Without any further delay, let's just jump into it. And yes, I have quite a few game files on here as well already. So let's just pick this one and get going.
Save for Santa. And so we begin with the game. Yes, so now 
Ori has been on quite a journey already, and I hope you enjoy that intro. We can go back through here, but it will hurt us a lot, and we'll probably not survive crossing that thing again. It has grown a little bit bigger since we passed through it before, so we weren't revived instantly it seems. Because some things are a little bit different now than they were before. It might have been a little bit from there than to now. Alright, so we're quite agile. We can jump. We can't do much else at the moment. But at least we can jump. Not very high, but we can jump far. And that's all that matters at the moment. And that's all we need. So welcome to the Sunken Glades. Watch out for the spikes here, those are very painful. And yes, this game is a little bit difficult in some places, and some things cause a lot of damage to you. Also, we can't go through here now, it seems. Seems like we're supposed to be able to, but those things are in our way, so let's just go back. And now we can go through this, but I see something glowing up ahead, so let's get it. It's a small spirit light container. And as you can see, we have a sort of wheel in the middle of the bottom of the screen. That is our experience bar, in a way, that will fill up with spirit light. So when we get that filled up completely, we will get an ability point. And what that is, we'll get into a little bit later on. Also, we have our health down there in the green. Which we'll also deal with a little bit later, because so far we haven't get hurt, and let's try to keep it that way as much as we can. Though I don't foresee this will be a deathless run, so yeah, probably won't expect that to happen. Maybe some other time, but not this time. And the water doesn't exactly look very nice either. This entire world looks a little bit dead and poisonous, or all the deadly things. That's not very nice around here. But here we have something. It's an energy cell. Now energy is something we can use to a few different things, but at the moment we can only use this to create a soul link. Which we do like so. It will save our game. It also has a different purpose and it will act as our spawn point. So where you spawn is up to you, which means the game can be harder if you want to save less often and will have a bigger penalty, penalty if you get thrown back out and um, die at some place. Because these are the only spawn points you get, so you have to be careful to use them as much or as little as you want yourself. And they have one other purpose, but at the moment we won't get to that. So let's go on. Yes, there are enemies in this game as well, and when they're defeated they will drop spirit light. Much like many other RPG-ish games, or games with other RPG elements, enemies drop experience and you level up by that. Let's go on can go both up and down here, but I will choose to go down first. Pick up this. Now, we can't create a soul link and get another ability point. As you saw, we get things back once we level up, which is very nice. But we'll wait on that for a little while, because... My strength is returning. I'm Sign, the light and the eyes of the spirit tree. I was lost in this glen when she loosened her grip. I can guide you on your journey if you allow me to come. But be still, can you hear that? They must have followed you here. And now we are thrown into battle, but we also have means to attack now by Sign. He can use his spirit flames. 
to attack the enemies. So Ori doesn't do the fighting um, at all at this moment. It's all up to sign. We just have to guide the light where it wants to go. And we have to defeat these frogs. Now they throw out quite a shockwave so you can't get too close to them, even if they don't hit you. The lights shall return to me. These words the spiritual once said. In the glade past the caverns, we'll find him. There's a path up ahead. So now we have our objective, it seems. Had to get to the spirit tree. It's a little bit off from where we are now, but I'm sure we'll be able to get there eventually. But for now, let's pick up these. We have an energy shard to restore energy cells, which would have been useful when we ran out. And then we would have put that to good use if we didn't level up. But let's save right here. And now that we have an ability point, we can go in here and access the ability tree. Now this place is quite interesting. We can use it to level up our attacks, such as the spirit flame. Now we have sign, that will be very useful. We also have the purple line here, which is mostly about gathering things, searching things on the map and being able to find things that we want. And we have the blue line, which uh, is more about survival and stuff like that, which will uh, allow us to use our soul links more efficiently in several ways, get more health, that sort of stuff. Not in the way that health is upgraded, but that we gain more health from the pickups that we get. Um, so yeah, that sort of stuff. It's more defensive and more in the use of getting the things you need. And um, the attacks are simply attacks. So for now, I think I want to get the spirit magnets, which can be very useful to begin with. Because then we should be able to get um, more spirit light more easily, more quickly. Also, the white ring down there that is uh, filling up around the um, spirit light thing, when it fills completely up, we'll be able to create a soul link again. So, um, yeah. And apparently we're supposed to view the map. <laughs> yeah. Nothing special there, really. But yeah. And a life shot. Those are our health things. So we will try to pick up stuff when we get, get hold of them. And we need them. So now we can also... Whoops. <laughs> that was my bad. Deal with those um, purple things. And uh, carve ourselves a path forward. Well, I should get these as well. I want to go and pick up everything along the way. Oh, and now there are enemies about. Which can be a little bit dangerous. Also, um, our pickups might drop into the water if we're not careful. So that's one good thing about um, getting the spirit magnet. So, um, as you can see, the enemies get a little bit more red when we're in range of them. As you can see. A low up red. The red one is the one you'll target primarily. There we go. Level up and it exploded everything. But here we have something else. Spirit walls are ancient structures connected by the roots of the spirit tree. Use our light to replenish your strength whenever you're weary. So these act as a save point as well as being able to give you your energy back. So those can be very useful. Those are the only other places you save, except certain autosave places, like the end of the first cutscene. Um, so yeah, these are nice for that. And you can also access your um, ability tree here. So now that we've done that, I think we should upgrade our um, attack a little bit. We can go along all of these eventually, but um, it will take a lot of work to get all of the things in here. I will primarily focus on the purple one here and a bit on the blue one as well. Not so much the attack based ones, but I'll get what we need there. Also, the thing up here, we can't get it at the moment, but that is an ability cell. It will instantly fill up your... Um, bar to get your a new ability point but 
Even when we will be able to get that, I won't go and get it. Because at the moment we need very little spirit light to get um, new ability points. But as we go along, those will take a lot more spirit light to get. And at that point, our ability cells will come, become much more valuable. And that is when I'll go and pick them up. So for now, we will hold off, off on that and get back eventually. But now we can destroy these as well. And we'll be able to go on. But I think we'll do that in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this first one. And as I said, I have really enjoyed getting all of those um, requests uh, for playing this game. And I hope you'll be looking forward to it as much as I am. And um, that it, this will turn out to be a good series. Because I am having much fun with it so far and I'm really looking forward to it and playing it through for you guys. And I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. So thank you very much for watching and hope I'll see you again next time. So see you then and take care.